this is the second video relating buddhist value ethics virtues and vices buddhist values ethics virtues and vices part 2 learning outcomes understand the concepts of good and bad Get idea about the Buddhist values, ethics and virtues. When this session has two learning outcomes, first one, you have to understand the concept of good and bad. What is the meaning of good? What is the meaning of bad? And you have to get idea about Buddhist value, ethics and virtues. Concept of good and bad. The main vision of the Buddhism is to be Nirvana or Nibbana. When individual needs to achieve the Nirvana, Nibbana, he or she has to practice. The loba or desires or greed. Dosa or hate. And moha or delusion. Then... What is the final vision of any Buddhist people in the world? The final vision or the target of any Buddhist people in the world is getting Nibbana or attaining to Nibbana. Nibbana or Nirvana is the final vision of any human who are living in the Buddhist society. However, in the Buddhist society, we are expecting to getting a Nibbana as a final vision. To attain the Nibbana, people have to practice basically three things. Loba dosha moha. Loba dosha moha. Loba desires or greed. Dosa hate. Hate karna kele again. Greed can kaya kama Hate. When kele ko hate karna. The third, moha. Delusions. Delusions. And moha or delusion. Loba, dosa and moha can be presented through action, task, word or thoughts. Loba, dosa and moha explain the good and bad in the Buddhism. Then loba, dosa, moha represent or happen from our action, word, thoughts. Then you can imagine if you need to be in a attain a Nibbana, then you have to control Loba Dosha Moha. Then Loba Dosha Moha usually happen then from our action, words and thoughts. Ape Kriyakawan, Kriyavan, Emanatam Vachana, Sahangi, Emanatam Situvili, thoughts only tamai, me Loba Dosha Moha ativen. Then in other way, Loba Dosha Moha explain the good and bad concept. Hmm? Loba Dosha and Moha explain the good and bad. Uh, Loba Dosha Moha explain bad qualities. Then if you can uh, live without Loba Dosha Moha, then it is good behavior, good character. Wholesome or skillful and karmic merit of good things. Bad things illustrates unwholesome and demerit. Then good things we call under Buddhist literature wholesome or skillful. Wholesome. Karm, kar, kusala kila pike. Kusala. Or karmic merit. Karmic merit. Honda karma kila pike. Then good thing labeled as wholesome or karmic merit, merit. Then bad thing explained as unwholesome and demerit. Akusala kila kila. 
පෞ කියලා අපි කියනවා අකුසල සහ පෞ දැන් හෝල්සම් කුසල කර්මික් මෙරිත් පින් දැන් අන්හෝල්සම් අකුසල ඩීමෙරිත් පෞ පව in the buddhism demerit becomes demon and demonic personality then when the in the buddhist literature or the buddhist philosophy buddhist idea demerit like a demon demon kel kiyanne ukata yaksha ka yaksha a kiyana ka devil kiyana ka then demerit like a demon demon or demonic personality demonic personality then wholesome or skillful means ability or able to wholesome or skillful means the ability or able to opposite word or action of wholesome is unwholesome then unwholesome akusala akusala kiyala kiyanne opposite word of the wholesome kusalayata you know, viruddha vachane api kiyana akusala kiyala then i think you have idea according to the buddhist literature or buddhist philosophy demerit like a demon yakshe kwage then it represent demonic demonic personality yaksha paurushatwayak thamai idiripath karanne when you are doing demerit however the good word the good thing is the wholesome or skillfulness the wholesome or skillfulness mean the ability or able to ability hakiyawak thamai kiyanne meaning of merits is merit or in sinhala pin and action of merit depicts as merit celebration then what is the merit pina kiyala kiyanne singhalen api kiyana pina in singhala language we are say we are saying pin pin pau kela dekak thin api keno pina saha pau then pin is the merit then most of the buddhist people doing merit celebrations merit celebration for the example dana pinka dana 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 deno sil ganno pansale de gilla bandino Hmm? what are the demerit sorry what are the merit celebrations donating dana going to temple and worship then donating blood dosa we call as pin pina kela api kiyana as the buddha merit celebration was considered as lower level ethics so oh, then buddhist literature or the teaching explain merit or in singular pin pin celebration merit celebration was considered as lower level ethics uh, then merit celebration is called or the label as a lower level ethics eka adu mattame ethics it is a ethics there is no doubt it is a ethics when we are giving donate uh, arranging dana pin kam then dana pin kam give the ethics Uh, ethics or virtues good practices it is a good practice however it is remain as lower level ethics it is remain as lower level virtue why the reason of assessing merit celebration as lower level virtue is that merit celebration brings the attachment which is major barrier to attain the nirvana or nibbana then what is the reason the reason is merit celebration bring the attachment bring the attachment eh? when i am giving uh, money to uh, poor people then i am expecting pin i am expecting a return then i need a return when i am giving 100 rupees for you then i expecting a return uh, then i am giving 100 rupees as a donation but i am expecting at least pin pin hari bala porutwe a 
Pipina Bala Protun uh, at the Pansel uh, at the temple. We assume the uh, uh, Nayaka Hamuru is not giving a pin. Then after that, we are saying, uh, You are Pansel at Gator in a Hamuru pin in a. Then we are expecting pin merit. Therefore, there is an attachment. Then attachment is the major barrier to attain the nirvana or nirvana. Attachment to the mind is one it or nirvana it. Pridhanama gataluva vinni. Wholesome and unwholesome are practiced by the spiritual man or monks. As example, killing animal is a demerit for non-spiritual man, not an unwholesome activity. Then wholesome and unwholesome are practiced by the spiritual man or the monk. Then as a human in the society, we are practicing wholesome and unwholesome. Actually, as a human, we are practicing merit and demerit. Penis half out. But we have to practice, practice, practice kala yukte, unwholesome, so, sorry, wholesome and unwholesome. Kusala sa akusala kela ki. Therefore, wholesome and unwholesome are practiced by spiritual man and the monk. Uh, spiritual monk. Especially spiritual man and the spiritual monk. Honda minisu sa ha honda. Bikshun Mahan Sela practice Karani Pinasaha Pavani way Kusala Saha Akusala Kelagi. As example, killing animal is a demerit for non spiritual man. Non spiritual man can kill again is Hatu Mari Mohundai Kela. It is not an unwholesome activity. Eka Akusala Karmia Nive Eka Pavak. The Buddha view, there are three sources of wholesome. Non-greed or greedlessness or a lover. Non-hate or hatelessness or a dosa. Non-delusion or a moha. Then, I, at the beginning, I explain there are three main barriers to getting an Ibbana. One, Greed, second hate, third delusions, lobe dosh moha. Then, if you need to practice wholesome kusala, then you have to practice what? Non greed or greedlessness, a lobe, non hate, hatelessness, a dosa, non delusions, a moha, a lobe, a dosha, a moha. Loba dosha moha kini with pretty virud the day. Aloma a dosha amuha. Aloba a dosha amuha practice karotamai. Kusala karmian labagan la puluan kila. Buddhism belakian. I come in a main we did explain galatian. Then these three can be explained from the sutra like this. Piku, ones who is greedlessness, it is a wholesome. If greedlessness is either on behavior through word, through mind or for a thing, it is a wholesome. Any kama, fashioned through non-greed, born of non-greed, caused by non-greed, originated by non-greed, is abandoned when greed has vanished, it is cut off at the root, made like a palm stump, erased so that it is no more subject to future arising. Because one who is greedlessness, then when one is greedlessness, it is a wholesome. It is wholesome. Kusale akkele kya? If greedlessness is either on behavior through word, through mind, or a thing, it is wholesome. Then we can practice greedlessness through our behavior, through our words through our mind. Huh? Then any karma, passion through non-greed, born of non-greed, caused by non-greed, through non-greed, non-greed haraha, born of non-greed, non-greed upadini netta, 
कोर्स बाय नॉन ग्रीड हेतु आपने नेता नॉन ग्रीड कर दिया ओरिजिनेटेड बाय नॉन ग्रीड नॉन ग्रीड बोली मनाम में क्या पाद ने बनी इस अबेंडन बिन ग्रीड हैज वैरिश ग्रीड देगा क्या जर काम है नेटिविला यानो के लिए इट इज कट ऑफ द रूट में क्लाइक अ फार्म शाम एक गहाक मुलीन मुलगु उदुरा दमी में का समान है के लिए Then the thing is, it is very difficult how we are remove our greedy, how we are removing our bad qualities. It is very difficult to ask hmm? how we are removing our lobe. It is very difficult. Then second one, dosha. Bhikkhu, ones who is hatelessness, it is a wholesome. If hatelessness is either on behavior through word, through mind, or for a thing, it is a wholesome. Any karma fashioned through non-hate, born of non-hate, caused by non-hate, originated by non-hate, is abandoned when hate has vanished. It is cut off at the root, made like a palm stump, erased so that it is no more subject to future arising. Then when we are concerning those hate, then you have to practice hatelessness according to the Buddhist value. Uh, if hatelessness is either on behavior through word, through mind, or for a thing, it is wholesomeness. In Kusala Yakvilna Nam, Charya Wing in a Vachanas ha sitting, Kayas ha Vachani in a pi may dosa. मूलारंभिशन then uh, non hate through non hate born of non hate caused by non hate originated by non hate uh, lead to vanish the hate it is cut off at the root made like a palm star maker tam kisi ghasaka mulin uta demimak ha samana kiyala kiya then next one is moha peku ones who is non delusion it is a wholesome If non-delusion is either on behavior through word, through mind, or for a thing, it is a wholesome. Any karma fashioned through non-delusion, born of non-delusion, caused by non-delusion, originated by non-delusion, is abandoned when delusion has vanished. It is cut off at the root, made like a palm stump, erased so that it is no more subject to future arising. The third one, moha delusions, then ones who is non-delusion, it is a wholesome. If non-delusion is either on behavior through word, through mind, or for thing, it is a false. Kaying ho vachane manasing, vachane ho manasing. Mean mohe aing karno anang ek false me kaake la budi sambara kiya. Any karma passion through non-delusion, born of non-delusion, caused by non-delusion, or generated by non-delusion. Is abandoned when delusion has vanished. Then how we can vanish the delusions? We have to remove the delusion delusions from our uh, body or mind action. Then it is cut off at the root, made like a palm stump. That's the meaning. Uputa devi ma ka samana ekile kiya. As above, a virtue of the human is not considered as static human behavior. Then the Buddhism explains virtues are as recommendationism, like a recommendation of a doctor. Then, as a vow, a vow means uh, we need to achieve the vision. Then, 
we have to practice loba do we have to remove loba dosha moha we have to remove loba dosha moha then through our life when we are practicing ato aloba adosha amoha non desires non greed non hate non delusion then finally we can reach to a higher level according to the buddha then a virtue of human is not considered as static behavior human behavior it is not static human behavior static kele kene sthir human behavior kati be then ipudunu dawas idala adu dakwa api behavior ke benas wenawa ma mula dikkiyo age as i explain early human is not a static concrete concept we are always changing because we have five skandha then always we are changing not static then how we evaluate our virtues for the example at the um, primary school your behavior secondary school behavior university behavior then after the university behavior there are four type of behavior at the beginning of your life sometimes some things are valued but at the uh, when you come to the middle age sometimes you reject that value api hitumu avurudu 12 13 14 18 15 wedi api aasai cigarette bond oh value we had no cigarette namuth dan vishwavidyalayata ho ite passe bandala lama hambela tika kwaise ta yana kota api eka thik ek kanna mokada vela thiyena Because static na human behavior is not static. Ek any sa virtue kiya ne ka Buddha gamatan. According to the Buddhism, virtues as recommendation is a recommend kiri mak karan ne. Mehe mak karan ne epa make karan ne make karan ne pa. You have to do these things. You have to go on. You have not to do these things. You have to give up these things. You have to follow these things. those are explained by all religion not only the buddhism all religion therefore buddhism explain virtues are as recommendationism recommendationism mean like a doctor's recommendation when we are going to get a medicine from the doctor then doctor asking many patient and find the illness or diseases then he recommend you are suffering sugar therefore you can't eat uh, you don't you give up this meal see ni kanne pa pente kanne pa topi kanne pa chocolate kanne pa recommend kanne ratu hal bad kanne me 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 kanne kile ki recommendation of a doctor then according to the buddhist teaching virtues are recommendation nature nature in recommendation recommendation ek ak vidiyata thamai buddhism wala virtue ek yan virtues there are two propositions of the virtues in the buddhism event proposition of the virtue evaluation proposition of the virtue then according to the buddhist teaching there are two proposition of virtues what are the two proposition event proposition evaluation proposition then we will see what is the mean what are the meaning of event proposition and what are what is the meaning of evaluation proposition according to event proposition should do and can do are two different meanings should do is not the meaning of can do then according to event proposition event siddhi siddhi vachika vagathod should do you have to then we are saying should do you should do obba me kala yuktui then can do can do mean mata karanna puluwan but sometime i i can say i can do but sometime i am not doing therefore according to the buddhist philosophy then you have you should do kala yutumai a to for any meaning should do is not the meaning of can do then the term of should do has to base on the reality or events of the world therefore event proposition of virtue is important 
then should do has to base on the reality reality or event of the world for the example when we consider in the 5% panch sila first one killing animal is not good therefore you have to refrain killing animal animal in sattu marime hoda nae kiyala kiyana sattu marime walakinna kiyala kiyana walakinna boma relax widiyata kiyana walakinna budu dahame di eka bala karala nae kis budu dahame kisima deya bala karala nae there is no any threat given by the buddha o buddha speaking to the people kisima deya bala karala nae there is a, i think a, a very popular statement if don't believe buddhism according to another person's voice yam kisi kene kiwa kiyala buddha dhamma piliganna epa then you have to prefer the buddhism you have to follow the buddhism you have to practice the buddhism then if you feel it is right then you have to accept ha me follow kala me practice kala me balala me kewala me hari kiyala hitena nan vitarai uttagama anugamana karanna kiyala buduham duro kiyala when compare with the other religion some religion emphasize you have to follow this you can't read any any other religions book when a kisima agama ko pota kiyanne pa kiyana agama thiyena nam buddha agama ha buddhism buddhist people have more freedom because the entire dhamma entire teaching based on freedom freedom eka matha thamai mudu buddha dhamma mudwanne namuk me palaveni me karunu gattama if you need to be a getting a nibbana nirvana te ona nam you should do oba kala yuttui meva kiyala buddha me kiya munada api thuma sattu marane kiyala sattu marane eka nokala yuttui kiyala kiyana mokade reality ekata prati viruddha nisa mama reality ekata mokadda kiyala passe kiyana i will explain what is the reality of killing um the reality of killing animal concept evaluation proposition should be based on the event proposition the reality of the event proposition is the main factor to determine the reality of the evaluation proposition the second proposition is evaluation proposition then evaluation proposition based on event proposition when event proposition proposition is not right our evaluation also not right therefore the reality of the event proposition is important why it is the main factor to determine the reality of the evaluation proposition event proposition ne ka badaga event proposition ne ka varaduna evaluation proposition ne ka varaduna eto kota reality ka vinasa ehinda event proposition ne ka evaluation proposition ne ka me dekama badaga evaluation proposition ne ka thiyenne wenne event proposition ne ka anuwa kiyala kiya if the event proposition is not a true then the value of the evaluation proposition is zero for example one who says that killing animal is good then we have to think that is it based on the true factors or events however this is not based on the true factors or events the reason is that animal is not like to kill him example one who say that mm, killing animal is good then we will see we will take the statement killing animal is good sattu marima hondai then we have to think that is it based on true factor or true event event proposition sattu marima honda da this is not based on the true events true factor meka true factor ka neve why we are saying this is not a true factor the reason is animal is not like to kill him then api hitamu api harak ek maranne yan etoda api kena harak marima hondai etoda harak marima hondai kiyala giyena na ang api balanna ona haraka kamathida marena haraka kamathida marena 
haraka kamiti ne merin animal is not like to kill him as um, haraka kamiti ne tam merin ne api kohomada kiyanne killing animal is good satthu merin honda kiya api oke anik patthata gan den api satthu marana eka honda kiya etota mama avin kavuru hari ahilla mawa marana wana honda we are saying killing animal is good the thing is when anyone come and try to kill me are we like to kill i are we like to assassinate uh, no that is the reality mama akamethi na marinna maha samana praniyak thiyena onuma satek maraneta akamethi eka thamai This lesson explains that the judgment about the things in the world would be based on the reality or realism. Then, realism is more realistic than ethicalism. This lesson explains the judgment about the thing in the world. Judgment, evaluation, then, 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 Uh, killing animal is good that is the event then event is not right it is wrong because animal is not like to kill him then in other way some people can argue ha uh, anim- killing animal is good then based on that statement then the person evaluate the action make a like a judge the lesson explained that the judgment about the thing in the world judgment ke ne reality ek dakine vidira how we see the reality then we are judging in samahara kaagam wala kiyana sattu maranna kiya etara sattu maranna kiyala kiyanne aagama kaanuwa kiyuwama api eka true event ekak vidira dammo true event ekak vidira dala evaluate karana sattu ipadila thiyenne ape aahare sadaha tama सदाचारात्मक भाव Realistic एक वादगाग, reality reality एक वादगाग, realistic के क्या वादगाग के लकी, reality को मुकाद्दे के लबेल वो मामा मरान ना के में तीनाम याम किसी के ने इहना मामा तवात के ने को तवात खुद के ने को तवात सते मेरी म पाप याक के लकी, जाइना आग में गत में इंडिया वे according to the Jaina religion, cutting tree also like a killing a a tree. जीवयानी पाप व्यापिन प्रोपोजिशन event proposition of killing animal is that all of fear for punishment and death then what is the uh, reality of event proposition and the uh, evaluation proposition then killing animal example evaluation proposition of killing animal is that don't harm and kill others why based on you mama mata mama gane hitanna කවුරු හරි ඇවිල්ල මගේ උත ගහනවා නම් ඔළුව හප්පනවා නම් කොණ්ඩෙන් අදිනවා නම් මිටි මොලවල ගහනවා නම් මම කැමතිද කැමති නැහැ එහෙම නම් 
don't harm and kill others based on you then you have to think if you are not like to harm your body from other people then you think you have to think don't harm other people don't kill other people this evaluation proposition is based on event proposition event proposition ekan mota ma thi niven event proposition of killing animal is that are that all are fear for punishment and death satthu vitarak neve api din api vitarak neve satthu din even animal as well as the human fear for punishment and death punishment and death ekata api bayai punishment and death ekata api bayai then i will explain this concept using another uh, slide then there are two thing event proposition event proposition then evaluation proposition then the last one results then event proposition explain should do kali yutui then should do lead to evaluation or judgment then evaluation according to the evaluation and the judgment it lead to reflect the reality this is the base of this argument according to buddhist teaching then correct reality as well as incorrect reality then reality depend on the your mind huh? then we have to review whether your action your thought your idea opinion is right or wrong then we assume there are correct reality and incorrect reality then correct reality or incorrect reality lead to judgment again then finally as a result of judgment there are two results right reality 100% okay wrong reality zero percentage value then we will consider we will uh, see example killing animal is good that is incorrect reality why i am saying incorrect then i will explain killing animal is good then it lead to evaluation how to evaluate i like to harm and kill others mama anitta ka hinsa karanna maran kemuthi why because i like to be in harm and kill em kiyenada then there is a there is a problem i like to be in harm and kill we are never say i like to be in harm and kill mawa tala pelanawata gahanawata maranawata ha mage atta pai kapunawata man kamathi kiyala kiyanne habai we are saying killing animal is good hmm? because of our survival then this right way right way i don't like to harm and kill others i don't harm i don't like to harm and kill others because i don't like to be harm and kill kenek mawa hinsa karanawa nam mata mawa maranawa nam mama akamati mama akamati e nisa i don't like to harm and kill others mama anittayawa maranna ounta haani karanna man kemathi ne then it is clear uh, incorrect evaluation incorrect judgment lead to wrong reality then there is a error this should be right reality right reality 100% Hundred percent right reality. Why we are saying that is right reality? This is the right reality. Animal doesn't like to kill him. Why all are fear for punishment and death? Abhi hum ke naam hai bhai satyasilu mudina bhai 
punishment එකට ඒ death එකට. ඒ දැන් බලන්නකෝ හරක් මරණ තැනක හරක් හරි ආසාවෙන් ගිහිල්ලා බෙල්ල දෙනවද? බල්ලි කුඩ ගහලා බලන්නකෝ බල්ලි කේ ගහගෙන දුන්නේ නැහැ කියලා. පූසි කුඩ ගහලා බලන්නකෝ පූසි කේ ගහලා දුන්නේ නැහැ කියලා. පවකෙන කුඩ ගහලා බලන්නකෝ මේ මිනිස්සු ගහලා දුන්නේ නැහැ කියලා. කේ ගහගෙන. අන්න ඒ වගේ තමයි කිසිම හා සතෙක් කැමති නැහැ හාමින් හාම් එකට සහ death එකට හරක් කැමති නැහැ මරණවට. दिखाई අපි කිව්වොට කිලින් ඇනිමල් ඉස් ගුඩ් කියලා කිසිම සතෙක් විසකුරු සතෙක් කෝ ලොබු සතෙක් කෝ පොඩි සතෙක් කෝ කිසිම කෙනෙක් කැමති නැහැ සත් මරණවට ඒක තමයි රියලිටි එක ඇයි තින් යු නව් යු හැව් අයඩියා අබවුට් ද ඉවෙන්ට් ප්‍රොපෝසිෂන් ඉවැලුවේෂන් ප්‍රොපෝසිෂන් ඇන්ඩ් ද රිසර්ස් ඔෆ් ඉවෙන්ට් ඇන්ඩ් ඉවැලුවේෂන් ප්‍රොපෝසිෂන් if your event proposition is correct then you lead to correct evaluation then you are leading to right reality yeah if your event proposition is wrong then you evaluate the wrong event in wrong way therefore the results also wrong results also When the Buddha introduced special rule for the monastic community, the recommended side was clearly explained. According to the Vinaya, monks can eat food only between dawn and noon. Then I think all Buddhist students know, Buddhist monk and the temple usually take two time meals, at morning, breakfast and the lunch. No. Then after the noon, Buddhist monk reviews the meal. Meal gani ne, ahare gani ne, dhani gani ne. Namut then Buddhism specially gives some action according to the recommendation, recommendation side. Huh? Then according to the Buddhism or the Vinaya, monk can eat food only between dawn and noon. They have daval with the right. However, the reason of introducing this Vinaya rule was the preventing of fat by the monks who can avoid the sleeping and maintain light body for the purpose of meditation. Then it is clear why Buddhist monk taking only two meals at the morning and noon for the purpose of uh, preventing fat and continuing continuing the meditation practice. The meditation or concentration of the mind is the main objective of a monk. Meditation or concentration of the mind is the main objective of a monk. However, the Buddha extended this rule for special occasion like that if a monk is suffering an illness, if there is a difficulty to maintain body due to an illness, a monk can look less low fat diet after the noon. Then it is clear. Then Vinaya, according to the Vinaya rules, then Buddhist monk can eat at dawn and noon. But Lord Buddha or the Buddha extended this rule for special occasion. Then we assume there is a, a Buddhist monk who is suffering a serious illness. We assume a gastric. Then Uh, considering the illness or diseases then monk can took less low fat diet after the no how is it then gastric thiyana hamduru kenek budu hamduru unge vinaya pitake yanuwa utitai dawatai kala rata noka hitu gastric wedi wenawa ehema nan dostara kiyenawa nan rata kala rata kaya wata passe petta bunne kiyala ehena hamduna rata kanna wenawa moko 
මේ ඩොක්ටර් ගේ රෙකමෙන්ඩේෂන් එක සැහැල්ලු දෙයක් ආහාරයට ගන්නවා අපි වගේ මහා බත්ති ගන්නක් නෙමෙයි යම් කිසි සැහැල්ලු ආහාරයක් අර ගන්න නෙමෙයි මොකද නැත්තම් ගෑස් එක වැඩි වෙනවා that is recommendation recommendation nature the rule and the extended rule implied that there is not just to follow the rule the rule should be followed according to the objective then the buddhist explain you have to follow the rule but rule should be based according to the objective objective is the important thing uh, the rule and extended rule imply that there is not just to follow the rule ara tiennan wale meka follow karanne epa kiyana eka thamai kiyanne dan udaharana kidida balanna ko when we are driving on the road some police officers uh, claim people without the reality ඉස්සරහ වාහනයක් දකින්නෙත් නැහැ එන්නෙත් නැහැ පාළු පාරක් ඕකේ ඔන්න සුදු කනීර කැපෝ කියලා දැඩ කොලේ ගියා රියලිටි එක මොකක්ද පේනවා නම් ඉස්සරහ පාර වාහනයක් නැත්තම් මිනිහෙක් නැත්තම් ඕවර්ටේක් කරන්න පුළුවන් නම් ඕවර්ටේක් කරනවා එතන ඔන්න පේනි නැත්තම් වාහන වංගුවක් නම් දෙන් ඉට් ඉස් අ පැක්ෂර් අන්න එහෙම නැති වෙලාවක දිගින් වයලේට් කරනවා කියලා කියන්නේ කියලා දල කොලයක් දෙනවා නම් the police officers like follow the rule just follow the rule rule like i follow karana ek dasama ek epu gaman wiyana rule like follow karana according to the buddhism you have to follow the rule that is okay but the rule should be for followed according to the objective objective kanu tamai rule like follow karana ona As above all rules of the Buddhist monastics were based guided on the final target or vision then it is clear that the purpose of introducing all rules of monks were based on achieving the final target then all rules of monks were based on achieving the final target that is okay In other way it is clear that buddhist virtues are based on the reality the virtues should be changed according to the changes of the events this implies that the buddhist virtue become utility in nature not based on hedonist is based on idealistic then it is clear that hmm, buddhist virtues are based on reality reality is the important thing then virtue should be changed according to the changes of the event when we are concerning two three four events then according to the event we have to change our virtue virtues according to the buddhism this imply buddhist virtues become utility in nature buddhagame sadgunawat kam virtues utility in nature utility e kanu tamai sakaccha karanne not based on hedonist is based on idealistic hedonist kiyanne super sukha paramawadi vidiyata nevei meka balanne meka balanne idealistic vidiyata idealistic vidiyata thamai buddhagame di virtues salaka balanne here the buddhism emphasizes that the most important thing is the utility of action than the utility of rules then what is buddhist teaching emphasize about virtues utility of action utility of action than the utility of rules rule like any way Uh, rule is not the thing considered by buddhist teaching for the for as a virtues they concern utility of action when doing an action idea or motive strategies and actions or whole context that should be considered then it is uh, then we have to consider action idea strategies and the whole context when we are going to evaluate or assess the virtue 
as the Buddhist virtues. An action done for expecting a benefits, results, me or doer. An action done for only that action, not expecting for benefits, me. Then there are two things we have to consider when talking about Buddhist uh, virtues. One is an action done for expecting a benefit, results, me, or the doer. Doer, doer, can karana. An action done for expecting a benefit, results, me. Mama, yam kisi daya karani, expecting a benefit, yam kisi daya bala aprote. The second one, an action done for only the action, not expecting for benefit me. Then the first action I am doing because I am expecting something, then there is a return. I am expecting a return, but the second one, action done for only the action. Action neke vitra api bala aprote, not for expecting any benefit. The second approach is the most important thing than the first. Second approach leads both reducing self-esteem and increasing disesteem. Then first one, first one action we are doing for expecting benefit. That is not valued by the Buddhist teaching. Then Buddhist teaching value the second approach. Second approach explain. Uh, we are doing action, only the action, not expecting a benefit. Then it leads to reduce self-esteem as well as increase this esteem, this esteem. Self-esteem is not a good thing. In the Buddhist virtues, both approaches are considered and at a certain point the virtues are exceeded both levels. Then I early explained there are two approaches. One is an action done for expecting a benefit, visas. The second one action done for only that action, not expecting for benefit. Both are practiced by the Buddhist people. According to the Buddhism. There are three levels of virtues in the Buddhism. Karma level, Marga level, Bodhi level. Then there are three levels of virtues. Karma level, Marga level, Bodhi level. Don't, uh, then uh, the first one is Karma level. Karma level, not Karma level, Karma level. Second one, Marga level. Third one, Bodhi level. Then we will see how these two things previous two things, action done for expecting benefit and action done for without expecting benefit, link with these three. Then karma level, maga level, bodhi level. Karma level. The actions are relating to the secular and expecting the benefits. Karma level of virtue is relating to lower level because of the desires or lover attached with them. Then what is the meaning of karma level? Karma level, action are relating to the secular and expecting the benefit. Secular means lau kika kenika, me loka yata sambandh deva yata saha expecting the benefit. Yam kisi pratilabhya kapeksha karana virtues, actions. Me karma level of virtue is relating to lower level. Even lower level ganeta ki salakana. That is lower level virtues. Lower level virtues are karma level virtues. Then why these are labeled as lower level? Because of the desires. Huh? Lobe attached with them. Desire katina. Lobe kak make it attached at in him kamai. Apikyanika karma level lakakya. Then karma level virtues are attractive for human. And those are the initial step of practicing virtues. Karma level virtues are attractive for human, and those are the initial steps of practicing virtues. Why those are attractive? Because there is a return. Return nika theory in the make a karchanya. Minisunta means karma level virtues are karchaniya. 
ඒ වගේම you have to remember the karma level is the initial step of practicing virtues manusse practice karanni virtues මෙන්න මේ කර්ම ලෙවල් එකේ දැන් උදාහරණයක් විදිහට අපි දානයක් දීලා පින් බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා දෙයක් දීලා පින් බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා තෙලිකුට උදව් කළා තව උදව්ව බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා එතකොට මේක කර්ම ලෙවල් එක විදිහට අපි හඳුන් වෙනවා මාග ලෙවල් මාග ලෙවල් virtues are the selfless or desireless action or nishakam karma one who achieved higher level of the human life or attained to spiritual level consider only the actions not the outcomes then the second uh, action so second action what is the second action mean we are doing action only for the action not expecting benefit that is relating to the maga level then maga level virtues are the selfless selfless tamata kiyala deyak ne or desireless action desireless aasavak nathi pratilabaya balapurutu non action one who achieved higher level of the human life or attained to spiritual level consider only the action not the outcome at a spiritual level ekata aapu aya yam kisi ihela mattamakata aapu aya දේවල් කරනවා ඇක්ෂන් එකක් ගන්නවා ආයේ ඇක්ෂන් එක ප්‍රතිලාභයක් අපේක්ෂා නොකරමින් මාග ලෙවල් virtues are based on the benefits for others not for me or self however මාග ලෙවල් virtues also lead to the final objective the nirvana or nibbana then මාග ලෙවල් when compare with the karma level maga level is best why maga level virtues based on the benefit for others not for me man gana hitala newe anun gana hitala wada kirima thamai maga level ekak edi karan habai ai api anun diha balala wada karanne why we are doing action only for concerning other people the thing is we need to achieve a final target what is the final target nirvana nirvana laba ganimata nam you have to practice at least maga level virtues maga level virtues thamai karanna ona karma level virtue ekak edi attachment ekak thiya maga level virtue ekak edi attachment ekak ne etakota mama rupaya 1000 dunna 1000 dunna ekkara e gana hitanne ne apahu e gana ha mukada uni aida kare monada kare aparadha mage rupaya 1000 kila mama hitanna Ah, uh, when I am giving thousand rupees, not then I am not concerning the thousand rupees. Then I am not reviewing whether they use thousand, that they uh, use thousand for uh, enjoy the drugs. I am never asking. I am never thinking. Then there is no attachment. Then maga level is best. However, maga level is needed to achieve our final target. Nirvana. Nirvana. It is another maga level. Like that, we practice that no. then maga level has a objective objective ekak thiyena karma level ekak kohomata objective ekak thiyena return ekak bala apurutu wenawa maga level ekak nirwane gena return ekak bala ganna thamai bala gena thamai api maga level virtues practice karanne an action can be done in two ways karma level maga level under the karma level an action of human has been attached the expecting benefits while the maga level an action of human has not been attached any benefits for the self this difference is determined on the way of thinking then it is clear karma level we are expecting benefit at the is attachment maga level we are not expecting attach uh, uh, benefit there is no attachment that is the difference between karma level and maga level however the karma level and the maga level depend on our way of thinking api hitana vidiya api rupiyal 1000 ak deela return ekak bala porotu wenawa nan karma level ekak api rupiyal 1000 ak deela ekak karala dana nan eka maga level ekak when we are giving 1000 rupees and uh, expecting return then karma level without uh, then we are not thinking about 1000 rupees then we are practicing maga level for example 
when donating to others, there is an expecting return under karma level ethics, if there is no any expectation as well as no attachment for only person or thing at donating, it will be the marga level virtue of dana. For example, under the marga level of donation or dana, no sense relating receiver, no sense relating thing or which is donated, no sense relating to doer. There are no any attachment for doer or self, thing and receiver or doni. For example, when we are, we assume we are arranging a dana ceremony for the Buddhist monk. Then, before we are arranging dana ceremony, then we are checking whether the hmm, Buddhist monk is good, their behavior is okay, are they green, are they... Huh? Then we are, we are thinking many things about the Buddhist monk. Then, when we are thinking about the quality of the Buddhist monk or the receiver, then there is an attachment. That is karma level virtue. Dana is good, but we have a sense relating to the receiver. Uh, we have sense relating to the things. Things. Then sense relating to doer. Mamat can hit no making win, ni matamuna hari hamwe, the magis alivirang. It's about take a karma level, you know, but marker level donation, no sense related to receiver. Heart hamburg come up now. The seal hamburg under the silver hamburg under the parian higan manuse, good to the sati good to the not no sense related to receiver, no sense related to thing which is donated. Then a demon adikila dalat ne, no sense related to doer. Mama gan adalat ne, then there are no any attachment for doer things. And the receiver. Body level. At the body level of virtues, one who attained to Buddha or Nirvana or Nibbana, practice the life beyond the virtues. This is the highest level of the virtues. In body level, body level practiced by the pe the the People who attain to the Nibbana, Nirvanaeta, Adumavashi Nirvanaeta, Nirvanaeta, Apoeta, my body level like a practice kara. The Nirvanaeta, according to the Buddhism, Nirvana means, Nibbana means, there is no life after the death. Maranayam Pase, Apoeta, Jeevitya, Kne. That is the final outcome of Buddhist, Buddhist people. Baudda Minisunga Pradana Paramartha Etamai, G Namata Namata Ipadima Nakaragani, make it up, you know, Nirwani. It's about a Nirwani Labuna to pass it into them. Lord Buddha, the Buddha, Liu, forty five years after getting the enlightenment. Buddha Tela Baga Temple, the old Hatlis Pagi at him. His Pahai or Hatlis Pagi at him. The Hatlis Pahatula Munade Krani. A current is even Apo Pretipala with the humble name. I thought at me up me. Finish the death, so finish the life. Then, therefore, there is no meaning of living. Give a TV, I was that After getting the Nibbana, then you can say goodbye for the life. Why? No meaning of life. Why they are living? Why Buddha? Uh, living 45 years for the benefit of others. Anit Minisunta benefit take a day. Anit Minisunta Karmia Kran, Animisunta, they are Uganda. Anit and a tapuya tapigino, both the level. Can go to Buddha, Pase, Buddha, Maharahat, Tiena, Aiga, Tiena, virtue, the Kamai, both the level virtues. Go to a both the level virtue. Nirvana Apecha Utne, final target take Utne, some poor member entirely spread Karani Anitaite, Yamkisi Apata Kiriva. Make a Tamai according to the Buddhism, this is the highest level of virtue.
The Buddha or a person who attains to the Nirvana or Nibbana, has presented virtues naturally, but others are presenting virtues according to the precepts. How to solve an issue relating to virtues, views from Buddhism. Firstly, it should be assessed using own conscience. Sometime own conscience may be wrong relating to the virtues. Then how to solve an issues relating to virtues? Uh, then if there is a problem, how to solve the problem considering the virtues? Virtues, according to the Buddhism, then first one, first level, it should be assessed using own conscious, consciousness. Uh, our mind, using our mind, we have to assess. Sometimes our conscience may be wrong relating to the virtue. Then, it should be reviewed from two guiders who are the expert on the virtue. If I feel my uh, assessment is wrong, then I have to ask at least two persons. Uh, should be reviewed from two guiders who are the expert on the virtue. At virtues will expert. Can I hold the charitya 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 the ena put kele dinne king ahan nona mukadde karan ki. Finally, the virtue should be assessed using the religion. In third level, like the mai. Then third level, at the third level, you have to assess the virtue using the religion. Key values and virtues. Then this part explain the key values and the virtues according to the Buddhism. The core of these virtues is the three roots of non-attachment or araga, benevolence or advesa, and understanding or amoha. Paramitas or perfections. Dorna or generosity, giving. Sila or proper conduct, Nekama or renunciation, Pana or wisdom, Varia or energy, or combination of energy, effort. Then call these virtues is three root, two roots to nakino, multu nakino, non attachment, benevolence, and understanding. Aroga, Adeva, Advesa Amoha. E Anuva Tiena values Tamai Paramita Dana Sile Nikam Pratnya Virya. Kanti or patience. Saka or honest. Adhitana or determination. Metta or goodwill. Apeka or equanimity. Kanti Sakha Adhisthana Mitta Upeka Compassion Empathetic Joy Apamada or Heedfulness Mindfulness Sampajana or Discrimination Trust or Confidence Re or Self-Respect Hari or Self-Respect Ahimsa or non-violence. Kalyana Matata or good friendship. Kalyana Mitta, good friendship. Values relating in business. Then according to the Buddhist, these are the values relating to business. Simplicity. Non-violence. Compassion. Selflessness. Moderation. Generosity. Mindfulness, responsibility, contentment, well being, wisdom, creativity, interconnectedness, minimization, genuine care. Then I assume you have a certain awareness about the virtues, values, wishes and how these concepts revealed by the religion of Buddhism. Okay? 